What's good, y'all? It's Wood Junior, man. I trust all as well. All right, y'all. So y'all know I'm on a hunt for uh, uh, the perfect motorcycle jack. So I'm here with my buddy Dylan. I chopped his name up like 30 times. <laughs> y'all know I'm, I'm doing my best to work on names, man. Like my buddy Jesse that came out to the uh, motorcycle training course with us. It's Jesse, and I was like Jason. So y'all keep being prayer on that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mahalo Savannah. There it is. Biggest place in the region. Best place to come get your stuff. Awesome. Um, but this guy will typically, one version of this will do the front. It goes into the forks and then you jack it up, lifts up the front tire. Okay. You can also go to the back of the swing arm. Same process with a different, a different attachment on the back and then lift up the swing arm. If you get two of them, it gets both the wheels off the bike at the same, or both wheels off the ground at the same time. Okay. Allowing you to do service, remove the wheels, do your chain maintenance a little bit easier. So quick question, how, how high does that take your bike up? It gets it just off the ground a few inches. I mean, it really depends per oh. bike. So the wheels sometimes will rest right away. It's enough to get it off the, okay. the, the, the axle out of the bike for the wheel to drop down and you'd be able to pull it out and if you have two does it swivel easy or no it's, there's some practice to be learned gotcha. about you definitely want to do the front and then go around and do the back you can do either or okay but if you do both of them my guys go front first and then back makes sense got it um this guy is a little bit more heavy duty general purpose it'll work for big cruisers where the frame yes. is at the bottom of the bike that's what i'm looking or, for uh, ATVs or something and looks so basically you slide it right into the front wheel back wheel find the two parts of the frame okay and then just jack it up on balance you can uh drop it down obviously and then reset it okay the price on both uh these ones depending on which one you get can be anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks these ones anywhere from 200 to 400 dollars 500 dollars depending on what kind of weight you're working with gotcha so it's probably approximately 730 to 850 pounds oh yeah for this for this bike then i would say get one of these because i wouldn't work uh for that one you could Finagle it and make it work where there's a will, there's a way. This okay. is the one you want. You okay. Spend a little bit more money, but you're gonna be secure, you're gonna be safe. Cool. You get everything you need done. All right, brother. Any particular that's a bestseller or? Uh, they all kind of depends on what season it is. Bells are pretty good sellers. That Valiant you just passed there, the white one here is becoming our most popular modular helmet. It is easily oh. our most popular modular helmet. Gotcha. It's becoming a pretty popular helmet, but we've got. Prices ranging as low as 140 bucks, all the way up. The guys you're looking at now, around 7,800 bucks. No. Oh yeah. 7,800 bucks. Show me have it for 7,800 bucks. Seriously? Can get you, uh, what? I can get you one, handmade from Japan, or from Italy, from a guy who has to come out here and measure it, hand measure it for you. This one's 779. Gosh. For a bell? Yeah, it's a bell. Wow. Well, this is what they use on the track. This is a full-on track helmet. Oh. It's got the pro tint visor on here, plus plenty of extra stuff going on, on the inside right here that we can spend all day talking about just this helmet alone. Okay. Whoa, what's our something to pull in here? That's the emergency release in here for EMT. So if anything what? bad happens, they can just pull it out. It's magnetically sealed in there instead of uh, the buttons that are in there. Bro, I did not know that. That's they get, cool. They get real fancy. They get real fancy. There's wow. That. And that's and that's yet comfortable for the rider? Yeah, it is going to be comfortable for... It's very aerodynamic um, for okay. track riding. They sort of really keep your head locked in the right position while you're looking. Great field of view and it's light. That's the other thing too. So yeah. very light from bottom material on the outside. Man, they're so colorful, man. Now, is this custom here? Or? That one is. We were just kind of using that as a demo helmet to show off. This is actually the old Icon uh, Armada helmet. This is our oh. guy down in the CIK Customs who painted that for us. Really? Mm -hmm. We're just showing what it looks like with the oh, that's nice. shield on there and then what Bluetooth will do on there. <laughs> that's that nice. Bluetooth is by far the best investment I've made since I started riding. Now, is that Cena or? That one's Cena. Um, okay. We do Cena and Cardo here. We can get some other brands, but those are the most popular and they work with pretty much everyone. So. Cool. Now, is that permanent on the helmet? Because I know some are permanent you and some are detachable. It. Um, it is little, it's a little pricier to go this way, but this right here is the expensive toy part okay. that right here is less than half the price of the whole thing so you can get multiple ones of those separately gotcha. and put them on all your helmets and then you just move this from helmet to helmet <laughs> wait guys y'all thought it was over i thought it was over too check this out man what is this brother it's called the one wheel it's uh what comparable to the hoverboards unless you're comparing reliability then there's no comparison whatsoever this has got it all day average you can get about eight miles per ride at about 20 miles an hour it takes a little over half an hour to charge the new ones go twice as far upwards of 20 miles at 20 miles an hour that's too cool did i see a light on there yeah there's a light on it that changes color depending on which direction you're going what it's more for your you to be seen than for you to see at night wow exactly 
Uh, they start at 950 for the pint, and then the big bad boy goes up to 1800 bucks. So wow. Are you, I'm sorry, so nine dollars and fifty cents. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. I find it easier to start off like that. To get off of it, you disengage one half of the sensors on here. Okay. Yeah. Some people say lift your toe. I find it much easier to lift my heel. Uh -huh. If it's going to go down and it looks like something weird's gonna happen, just pop off both feet. You're not gonna hurt the board. Don't worry about the board. Wow. And so whatever direction I lean, that's where it's gonna go. Exactly. Usually I'll straighten that leg and then I'll go that way. Wow. Uh, so whatever's straight, that's the way it's going. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Man. <laughs> what the? No. So my right foot, left foot. As you guys can see, I have my my truck as a balance. Oh, I did feel the motor. Oh, it's on, baby. It's on. <laughs> man, I'm about trying new things, man. Look at. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. See, I'm, I'm not trying to. Gonna be able to catch you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Here we go. But it's like it's turning. It's kind of, this tire's a little bit more radial and your weight's on your heels, so it's gonna to wanna to keep turning whichever direction you're going towards oh, your heels. I got put you. my toe down or my heel down, depending on which direction I wanna go. Wait. <laughs> All right, babe, I'm going out practicing. All right. Okay, honey, don't forget. Uh-oh. Okay, honey, don't forget the paper towels. <laughs> wait, wait. Don't forget the paper. <laughs> For the back and forth, it definitely does. Left and right, it does. It also can help you fall. I found that out the hard way about six or six weeks ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Woo! I can tell I'm stiff. Do I look stiff? I've seen worse. <laughs> He's seen worse. Dude, I am always ever learning. This is too cool. I'm afraid to go left, though. It's definitely... It, Took me a couple of weeks before I even would attempt that. All right, let me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more time. I go left. I like this, man. It's and it started out at 950 bucks. That one, that specific one, 950. It'll do about eight mile or seven miles. It only goes 16 miles an hour. Only goes 16 miles an hour. Whoa. Um, <laughs> so far, we haven't found a weight limit. They Dude, I'm like 235. So. My manager in there, he was pushing over three for a while when we first got him, and he rides that one. The one he has has over 5,000 miles on it. Gosh. That was our demo one. We rode that all day, every day for two and a half years. We're actually going real quick improvement on it from Seriously? two parking spots up here. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Who was that? Who was that? Ah! <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you, man. Hey, bro. You <laughs> Oh man, I was show in, off! I was coming in hot. Nobody likes to show off, Jeff. <laughs> God, I appreciate super you, man. Cool. See, Don't look at that. Me. Don't How much is this? Me. Like forty uh, pounds? No, no, it seems like it right now. It's twenty something pounds. Seriously? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I'm literally flexing. Like this is not even showing off. Like this is heavy. Goodness. Bro, this is called the one wheel this pint. Where you say the batteries were now? In the the batteries in one of these panels, oh, okay. the motors in the wheel itself, and then the computers in the opposite panel of the wheel. Wow. Oh, one wheel pint, man. Oh my gosh, man. I, I think if I continue to do this, I can master this, but uh, my focus now is slow riding skill. <laughs> we got Stevie B in the building. What's up, man? What? Uh, Harley Davidson dealership. Uh, I want to check out their motorcycle jacks. And man, look, I'm here with my buddy Stevie V, man. Look, I did not know, like once again, charge it to my head, not my heart. I did not know my guy Stevie V, man, served in the military. Stevie V, man, appreciate what your up? service, man. Yeah, man. No How long no. you do at 17 and a half? 17 and a half, man. I was medically retired in 2015. Wow, yeah, bro. Man. Appreciate your service, man. And I don't know how I missed that because Stevie B is the one sold me my 2020 Street Class <laughs> Special. You see what I'm saying? And we equal. I named her equal. How? Shame on me, man. Same name and everything. Right, man. Same, same name, dog. <laughs> Exactly, man. So I, I got to show props to my guy, Stevie B, man. 17 and a half years, military, two huge thumbs up. Thank you for your service, bro. Yeah, man. That's real talk. All right, y'all. So I'm here with David, bro. And I, uh, I shared with David that I'm looking for, you know what I'm saying, motorcycle jack. Let me show you how this guy went above and beyond. What's up, Dave? How you doing, What's bro? Going on, guys? Look at this, bro. So these are two of our service jacks. Okay. Now they're used for different purposes. This will actually bring the whole bike off 
off of the ground. Okay. So you can do your normal maintenance stuff. You can touch the front tire, touch the rear tire. Now it does have some tie downs right here and right here. Gotcha. So you can strap the bike down to it. Now this is not a hugely stable jack. You can roll it around on these casters, but it's not intended for that purpose. Oh, really? Correct. Okay, because I definitely want to roll it, you know, left to right, around yeah. my garage, etc. Now, what you're explaining is actually what's called a dolly. Okay. Typically, you can't lift and turn at the same time, especially with these bikes. They're these Harleys. They're really heavy. Yeah. You don't want that falling on you. Gotcha. And now we have a center stand lift. That's which, a jack. This is a jack. Dang. Basic scissor jack. Kind of like oh. cars, stuff that used to come with the cars back in the day, if they still do. Uh huh. Very similar. So Man. when a bike is on a lift, this jack is used to raise the rear end of the bike up. So if you need to take the rear tire off, or if you're doing it on the ground and you need to just take the rear, the front tire off, you can strap down the back, put whatever side you up that you need, okay. and go from there. Gotcha. Now above that, you got a full on motorcycle lift. Now the lifts again, they do not pivot. They, it's a very big version of this, but instead of your bike going this way on it, mm -hmm bike goes this way on it and there's a clamp that holds your front wheel okay so a motorcycle lift a good one is gonna roughly cost you about 1500 plus depending on where you get it from do you guys have it to purchase we don't sell uh, lifts as an in-store item okay now we can get them for you um, typically it takes about one to two months to get because it is a freight item okay um, the ones we use in the back are called from a company called handy they make a bunch of service lifts and stuff for all different all different makes gotcha. UTVs, side by sides the four wheelers the whole bit okay. um so right now that's what we use as an industry standard is, is the handy lifts gotcha now, okay this can be purchased from harley davidson now this is not a harley version but they do have a harley version of this now they're harley does not sell any of these, these okay are something that we resource out from a company called k l okay um this is the top of the line series though. One of these lifts typically costs you between 500 and 1,000 bucks just for this, so. And how many inches would this take the uh, bike off This didn't actually raise the bike up almost two foot off the ground. Okay. So you got gotcha. your, your full, full pump up here. Okay. And you got three different lock heights here. So this is actually the lock bar. You got a couple of different notches to go on it. Okay. So you got uh, one height. Gotcha. That's roughly about a foot. Mm -hmm. About a foot and a half. And this one, that's as tall as it goes right there. Oh, and this is the final, okay, gotcha. Yeah, the final catch. Just oh, that, cool. So bro. worst case scenario, this fails on you, you got a lock bar in place so it doesn't fall down on you. Okay, gotcha. So what about the, let me ask you, cause you're a you're, uh, specialist here. What about the uh, motorcycle jacks at Harbor Freight? Are they, they uh, worthy are, of a purchase or? They're a, a decent product. I wouldn't necessarily recommend them for a touring bike. Okay. Because um, their max out weight limit, I believe, is a thousand pounds, but they updated that. Okay. Well, these bigger bikes, they're they're close to a thousand pounds right off the rip. So I never try to push those limits. Okay. I have seen touring bikes on them. I have seen them up on those lifts. Gotcha. A little unstable for my own liking. Um, now, if it was a bike that was 600 pounds less, like a Dyna or some of these smaller soft tails, mm -hmm. I'd probably be a little more amped to that. But what's your professional opinion for my bike? Like, because, you know, I could just go out and get any jack, but I really want to get the right jack. That's so, why I'm really shopping around. If you're trying to do it at the house, most of the stuff can be done with this. Okay. Um, this is a, a very good jack. Typically, you're going to spend anywhere between three and like 600 bucks on these. Okay. Um, but at the house, this is pretty much your best go-to unless you want to go into the endeavor of purchasing you know, lift. Gotcha. Now, there's pros and cons of lifts as well. Lifts technically, like the ones we use, once you put your bike up on it, the front wheel goes into a vice. Well, a vice? You, correct. That's now, what how is the, that? Essentially, it, it's a two pieces of metal that are L-shaped that smash the wheel just to hold it in place. Oh, gotcha. So when we tighten that down, that's what keeps the bike stable left to right. Then we also tie them down to the lift. Now, at home, that plays a whole different adventure because let's say you need to service the front wheel. Well, if you have a lift and it's clamped in the device, you may not be able to use that at home. So that's where one of these come in. So you actually have to jack the bike up while it's on the lift, strap to lift, take the wheel off underneath the bike. Gotcha. And then there's also certain lifts out there that have wheel dropouts, so you don't have to necessarily jack the bike any higher. You just have to suspend it in place and you can drop it out from below.
I want to buy the Jack one time for it to be like my forever Jack. Yep. Is there such thing as a forever Jack? This would be my forever Jack, Quick segue, can you tell me about this bike? This is actually my personal bike I am selling. Really? Um, I've customized this bike. Originally when I bought it, the front fender was damaged, the tank was damaged. It had a bunch of chrome on it, it had spoked rims on it, um, it had stock bars, so everything's been upgraded. The rear suspension has actually been lifted up as well. Wow. Um, so just from the get-go, the first thing off, I've powder coated 110 pieces of this bike. Rims, handlebars, switch housings, center console, um, I did some side covers, motor covers, I did forward mounts. Um, these shocks are actually from a company called Leads and Suspension. Mm -hmm. Shout out to them, they make great product. Uh, okay. They lifetime warranty the shocks, they're sweet, easy, adjustable. Lifetime warranty, nice. Lifetime warranty on the shock. You don't I've have to seen this before. What is this little so guy? That's actually the rebound adjuster okay so this actually adjusts how fast this wheel kicks back up after you hit a bump gosh so it's actually on the fly quick adjustment typically you want to adjust this when you ride with a pasture mm -hmm. typically you'll see them and you have to rotate the whole spring to actually adjust that this dials it down easy one click adjustments what? so you got all the way down to one and then you can go two three four five do you feel this six. moving when you do that or nope. this actually doesn't move anything here all this does is actually move the chambers on the inside of the shock to allow more or less uh, fluid actually travel through the reservoir. Wow. So what's a, what's like a safe haven? Keep it at high or? Um, three is your middle zone. Okay. Um, so typically your one is going to be your loosest fuel. Your six is going to be your tightest fuel. Okay. Typically you're going to run a higher number when you ride with more weight or a pasture set up on it. Gotcha. Um, now I use it for different purposes personally. A lot of people on the race sense, or if you're trying to do stunts and stuff, they do it on a different platform. The softer it is, the easier this is collapse. Okay. The faster it comes back out. Gotcha. Well, the harder it is, the harder it is to collapse, the harder, the slower it comes back out. Okay. So you can kind of use that for different purposes. Um, for me, I like it for the lean angle. I actually went up two inches on the rear end, which kind of gave a little bit of a gap in the fender you and the wheel. up two inches on the rear end? Oh my yep. gosh, Typically, bro. you won't be able to do this. Typically, you won't even be able to put your hand in that. What? So, Man, you're doing some leaning, bro. Yep. And every once in a while, you'll still catch. I got a little bit of dry mark on this peg over here. You'll still catch a little bit. Oh. Every once in a while. Oh, wow. It really depends on how, how aggressive you ride and what type of roads you're riding on, too. Gosh. And what's this color, uh, David? So this is actually anniversary bronze. Okay. Um, on the paint. This Harley deck actually didn't make. Um, I had a bunch of stuff powder coated to match the paint. This is a powder from a company called Prismatic Powders. Okay. This is an Illusion Root Beer Bronze. Wow. An Illusion Root Beer Bronze. Okay. And just enclosing these little gadgets up here, what yeah. is this here? So this is actually the Performance Tuner. This is made by a company called Dino Jet. Okay. This is a Power Vision. So you actually power on the bike. Did that light turn blue in the front? Is, oh, it's LED. You got LED, okay. Oh yeah, I got LEDs everywhere. So headlight, um, my turn signals and run lights are actually in, built into my hand guards. What? So I relocated my turn signals. What? Uh, what? Typically, your turn signals are on the side. I eliminated those. I have my turn signals integrated into Get license out, plate frame bro. and the tail light. I've All my never lights seen this. Where'd you get this, man? That's custom. This is from a company called Look Custom Dynamics. That. Dynamic makes this? Yep. What? And this is actually a taillight from Moon's MC. What is that, a motorcycle club? Yep. 
it's a motorcycle club that turned into a company. Dude. Does all my performance modifications. So if you add an air breather, if you add exhaust, if you add cams, big bore kit, pistons and cylinders, cylinder heads, stuff like that. This can do all my adjustments on the fly. Okay. Um, typically when you do a motor like that, you still want to have a dynode, but if you tend to want to play around with your own stuff, this is a very savvy tuner. It gives you all the options from a little screen. So I can actually go into program vehicle. I can load tunes. I can do pre-configured tunes, which is pretty much stuff that other people have done before. Okay. I can do custom tunes, either i.e. I made one, somebody dynoed my bike and made a custom tune for it, or DynoJet or Fuel Moto actually sent me one. Sweet. So you can get some tech support from them as well. Um, depending on what you're doing, there's a bunch of options. They got a bunch of online resources for this as well. Um, DinoJet's got a really good setup from them. Um, Fuel Moto does a lot of overviews on them. So if you want to start playing around and digging into stuff on your own, this is okay. a great, great tuner to use, great tuner to learn from because it's not something that's shady. It's a legit product and they kind of back, they give you all the tech support for free. That's actually my fuel gauge. So originally what? this bike had um, standard All the fuel dots gauges. tell you. <laughs> yep. Let me guess, custom dynamic? Nope, Harley. Oh. <laughs> so these actually have gas caps that usually sit outside the gas tank and you actually turn them. Yeah. This is a flush mount setup. So you actually turn like that, pops Robert up. Robert Simmons got that, bro. Yep. Okay. And they, they come stock on some of the CVO models too. Okay. But uh, for most of the bikes, it's a, it's a accessory upgrade. Okay. And these little three dots says if you're a four. About a half tank. Uh, I believe it's six dots full, three half. Okay. The so mileage is 12,208. This is a 2013 anniversary bike. Okay. Um, this is actually the last anniversary bike that they made with a Dyna. Mm -hmm. Dynas are no longer made. Um, really? In 2017, they actually discontinued the Dyna line and incorporated a lot of the models into the new Softail lineup. Oh, so wow. So this was the last year they made an anniversary of this bike. Oh, and wow. They only made 1,450 of these bikes when they did make this. This is number 583. I know two of them are told, and I know one that's no longer OEM paint. This thing is pretty nasty. It's got a D and D Bobcat tuned to one. It's a very performance focused pipe. Ooh. There's no cat in it. It is race use only. No cat. Nice. Wait, wait, let me come around. Wait, let me come around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, go, 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 bro. That's it, brother. <laughs> and what's the asking on it? I'm asking 14,000 for it. Wow. I'm actually asking what I got involved in it without the bike price involved. Wow. Bro, right there. And you know everything works on it because he's a specialist here. What's your position here at Harley Davidson? I'm a customization specialist. And if they, uh, if anyone that's watching wanted to purchase the bike, how would they contact you? Um, go on to SantaFeHD.com. You can do a web lead there. You can call us at 912-925-0005. Um, you can do email me directly if you want to, david.hirsch, which is D-A-V-I-D dot H-I-R-S-C-H at SavannahHD.com. Look, man, if y'all want the bike, man, look, go online, check it out, like you said, and he has extra accessories for it. So that's what's up. All right, my journey for the motorcycle jack continues. Blessings.